Hello, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a recipe that I've been wanting to make for a long time. Ever since I was a kid, actually. Have you ever seen the movie Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Well, when I was a kid, that was one of my favorite movies for a long time. And uh, one of my favorite parts is where they're wandering through the backyard, they're all little, and they come across a giant oatmeal cookie. That's what we're making today. It's not going to be as big as a house, but as big as I can fit in this oven. And I do have a recipe, it's down in the description. Um, I'm going to be doubling it, so anything that I say, if you just want a single recipe, half it, or quadruple it, or do whatever you want to do with it, but I'm doubling it so that it will be a big, one big cookie. So you will need butter, oats, quick or old fashioned, I don't think it really matters. You'll need powdered sugar and brown sugar, and regular sugar, We've got three different kinds of sugar in this thing. You also need some eggs, vanilla, cinnamon, baking soda, flour, salt, and that's it for the cookie part. For the filling, you'll need more butter. Uh, the powdered sugar is actually for the filling, not the cookie. Vanilla as well, and some milk, or half and half. So you will want to preheat the oven to 350 and line your cookie sheet with some parchment paper. I've never used parchment paper before. I guess it's just to keep stuff from sticking, huh? Just looks like regular butcher's paper. Ah, bitch. Is that just so you don't have to grease the pan? And then it says, in the bowl of a stand mixer, which I don't have, we're going to be using electric mixer. In the bowl of, okay, electric mixer. In a large bowl, cream together butter and sugars, sugars, until light and fluffy, about three minutes. So we're going to add these sugars, the white and the brown, and some butter. For a double recipe like I'm doing, that will be two cups, two cups of butter, softened, a cup and a half of light brown sugar, and one cup of granulated sugar. The butter is supposed to be soft, which this is not yet, so I'm just going to nuke it for a little bit. And then go turn down the air conditioning, because it's very hot in here. And for those of you keeping track, that's four sticks of butter so far. This must be a really good recipe. I've never made this recipe before. This is just like a fly-by-the-seat-of-my-pants thing. I really have no idea how it's going to turn out, or if it's going to turn out. One of the advantages of living alone is that there's nobody else here to tell me that my ideas are stupid. But that's also one of the disadvantages. If this idea craps out, I'm the only one to blame. But it's a cookie. What's the worst that could happen? Nook, 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 nook. And for any of you who watch my videos consistently, the brown sugar that I used for the sriracha meatball recipe is still soft. The bread is hard as a rock, but the sugar is still soft. And that was Super Bowl, so that was like two or three months ago now. So that's a hack that really works for a while. This is a cup and a half of brown sugar if you're doubling the recipe. And two cups of granulated sugar if you're doubling. I'm still using the mixer that sucks. One of these days, I'll get around to buying a new one. Next, for the double recipe, we're going to add four eggs. And once the eggs are added, you want to add two teaspoons of vanilla. 
So that's it on the wet ingredients. In another bowl, we're going to add together the flour, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. That'll be three cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Have you ever done the cinnamon challenge? I'm not stupid enough to. And one teaspoon of salt. You will need to whisk the dry ingredients together and then slowly add them to the wet ingredients. Just slowly add it until it's all added. And lastly, we're adding the oats, which for a double recipe will be six cups of oats, which is going to be much bigger than uh, this bowl, so I'll have to improvise. Found my trusty pot. Let's mix this puppy up. It's times like this I really wish I had a stand mixer. Just trying to mix it enough so there's no loose oats. I didn't try and quadruple this recipe. So I'm just going to use half of the mixture for the top cookie and half of the mixture for the bottom cookie. Uh, this says for just regular size cookies to bake for 15 minutes, so I'm going to add a few minutes on top of that. We'll see how it turns out. So this looks to be about half. Uh, I really have no idea how much it's going to spread out when it cooks, so I guess we'll just see. I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. Alright, so while that's cooking, we're going to mix up the frosting. There's some special instructions for the cream filling. Um, for the butter, it says to beat it on medium-high speed for about 5 minutes. The process will lighten the color of the butter and ensure that the buttercream is extra fluffy. So, you have to whip the butter for five minutes. And for the double recipe, that's going to be three sticks of butter on top of four sticks of butter. This is going to be a super good recipe. And this is the part of the video where my microphone battery died. I had to replace it and I didn't realize it until later. But I'm making some really funny jokes here. They were really funny, you'll just have to take my word for it. But the main part of this is that you need to add five cups of powdered sugar. So once all the powdered sugar is added, you'll want to add I added two teaspoons of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of milk, or you could use half and half. Um, and I beat it all together for about five minutes. The buzzer did go off on the cookie, but it's nowhere near done, so I put another ten minutes on it. We'll see how it does. That's a big cookie. And this is 30 minutes, so 30 is what it took to get it to cooked all the way through. So we're going to let that one sit for about five minutes before we move it off and cook the other one. So we got our two big halves of the cookie. And now that it's um, cooled off, I can already tell that it's going to crack. It's like cracking down the middle. So I'm not really sure how or if it's going to stay together, but we'll give it a try. Hopefully the frosting will help it stick together. Ta-da! Doesn't that look delicious? This is a childhood dream for me right here. Um... I was actually planning on taking this to our anniversary hike tomorrow, but I'm not really sure how 
I would get it there in this condition. It's already kind of cracking on the top, even just putting that top part on, it was cracking it, so. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out to a campground unscathed. So, I think I'm just gonna have to slice it up and serve it like that in a pie pan or a cake, in a cake pan. But, giant oatmeal cookie. And it looks delicious. And it smells heavenly in here, just in case you were wondering. It's worth making this just for the smell. To make your house smell delicious. So I'm still gonna take this to uh, our hike tomorrow, or we have like a dessert bar. And we'll see how people like it. It's probably not gonna look like this um, by the time I get it over there, but I'm sure it'll taste the same. So I had to cut it in half because I didn't have a pan big enough. People enjoy it either way. This is how we do camp food around here. No hot dogs for us. This is Frank. He's going to try the pie. Okay, which is the pie? This one? It's both the same. You, you have a top and a bottom. It was a big oh. cookie. So. I just don't know. I got the kind of box I'm serving with. Give me a second. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> right there. If only I had a bigger stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It was good. So give it a yum. I give it a yum. Yum. Yum, yum. yum. <laughs> Two yums up. This is what's left of the cookie. Everybody really liked it. There were a lot of yums. So I'm having this for breakfast with my coffee. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment. And leave me some suggestions of some recipes you might like to see. And enjoy!